you've probably put in a lot of effort to create a great video for your Instagram or TikTok. So of course you're gonna want as many people as possible to see it. So why not double your potential views of that video by repurposing that content onto Pinterest? If you didn't already know, Pinterest is one of the best platforms to help you get more traffic and extra views on all of your content. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to easily create video pins using the content that you already have on your Instagram and your TikTok. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that you have set up your Pinterest account, your account is all optimized and you have set up a range of boards on your account that are relevant to the types of content that you post on. For example, your blog, like your blog categories or what types of content you tend to post on your Instagram and TikTok account. So this is for my website design and content creation business. But in this video, I'm gonna show you the example of my travel blog. So make sure you've got your Pinterest account all set up and optimized like that. And then we're gonna to want to download our content from TikTok or Reels, um, depending on what you're using. So if we are on TikTok, all you need to do is go onto TikTok, either on your desktop or on your phone, it doesn't matter. And you'll see here on desktop, it has the copy link option here on the right hand side. On the app, you just need to go to share and tap copy link. Link. And then we're going to open up a tool called snaptick.app and I will leave a link to this in the video description below and just paste the link in there. Download, um, it, this is a tool so there are going to be lots of ads popping up at you so just be aware um, but you just want to download uh, whichever one of these buttons um, works best for you. So that is now downloading to my computer. This will all work on your phone as well. So you can just go to snaptick.app on your phone and tap download and it will download into your phone. If you want to use your content from Instagram Reels, just head over to the reel that you want to use. Maybe let's select uh, this one here. And all you need to do is click on the three dots and click on copy link. Again, if you're on the app, just tap the share button and select copy link. And instead of going to snap tick, um, that website, there's another tool called snap insta.app where it's the same situation, you just paste in that link and download, and this will download it to your phone or your computer. So we can see both of these have now downloaded to my computer. One thing that is important to note when you are browsing Pinterest, whether that is on your phone or on desktop, you'll notice with any video pins that come up that they usually don't have the sound playing. People are usually um, looking at videos on Pinterest with the sound off. So therefore it's really important when you are creating any video content either in Instagram Reels or for TikTok that you are making them make sense um, if the audio is off. So for example, if there's a voiceover or you're talking to the camera, um, always add captions to your videos, whether that is in Reels or in TikTok. So now that we have our videos downloaded, we can head into Pinterest and start to create a pin. Now creating a pin might look different depending on whether your Pinterest is updated or not. This is what it looks like um, currently at the time of making this video, but you might just have the option that says create pin. Um, on your phone, there's a plus button at the bottom to help you create a pin. Also ignore any reference to idea pins. If you see that on your account, these are being phased out. We are just going to be creating a pin not an idea pin. So click on that and this is going to let you upload a file from your computer or from your phone and now that is going to start uploading. So from here there are some really important steps that you do not want to miss out. First of all is adding a pin title and a description and not only do these show up in your Pinterest feed like this one, you can see this is the title and this is the description. So not only does it give Pinterest users a bit more context about what your pin is so they can decide whether they want to watch the whole thing, what it also does is it gives Pinterest's algorithm um, more context about what your pin is about so that it can decide where to show your pin and who to show it to. So we want to use the title and the description to describe what the video is about and what people can expect um, that's gonna help the Pinterest algorithm and also people to decide whether they want to watch it. So the title, I've basically included what someone might actually just type into the search bar in Pinterest. If they were searching for luxury hotel in Ubud, Bali, this video is a review of a luxury hotel in Ubud, Bali. So that's what is why I have given it that title. Now for the description, you could actually just copy the caption that you have written in TikTok or on Instagram and have that as the description. And if you're writing your TikTok and Instagram captions to be kind of search optimized as well and including keywords, then you can definitely do that. But for Pinterest, the whole searchability of your pin and giving the algorithm as much context as possible is even more important. So you want to be writing this description um, really well. So definitely take a minute to describe what the video is about. 
And then the next thing that you really don't want to forget in order to make the most out of um, this pin on Pinterest is you want to add a link. How Pinterest works is um, these pins will show up in your feed and you can click on each of them and it will take you to a website or an Instagram page or some other site um, than Pinterest. And that is how you get more traffic to your other content and your website um, coming from the Pinterest platform. So you don't want to forget this step. Then we want to choose a board to pin this to and you want to choose the board that is most relevant to what this video is about. So I'm going to choose um, my board, which is Asia travel destinations. But if I had a board about Bali destinations, then I would pin it to the Bali destinations board first. Then we have tagged topics. Now this is where you can search for kind of pre-made tags um, and topics that again, your video is about giving the Pinterest algorithm more context about this. So I'm going to um, type in travel um, and there's loads of kind of travel related uh, words that I could use. I'm gonna do travel guide. I'm gonna type in hotel, um, luxury hotel. I'm going to type in Bali to see if it comes up with that. And I would suggest kind of adding three to five here just to give some context. Now, there is one more really important step before you hit publish. And this is something that a lot of people miss, and that is to edit the cover of the video. So sometimes you might notice when you are scrolling through Pinterest, there might be video pins that um, are videos, but like this one, for example, um, this is a video pin I can see, but it's not playing. Um, sometimes they auto play as you're scrolling through the feed. Sometimes they don't, they require you to click on them and open them first and then they will play. And so you really want to make sure that just in case your video doesn't auto play, the image or the cover of the video that displays there is really attention grabbing and it makes people want to click the, to watch the video. So if we click on edit cover, what it will do is let you choose a frame from within the video that you think is maybe the most um, attention grabbing or eye catching and makes people want to um, click the video. So if I just click this one, for example, this would be kind of a bad cover image to have because it's kind of partway through the video. It doesn't really have much context that isn't really appealing and making me want to click it. Whereas if we choose the first frame of the video as it did automatically for us, um, this is much more appealing and it's going to make people want to click it. So once that is all done, then you can just hit publish or you can schedule it for a later date to publish automatically. And there you have just repurposed your video content into a Pinterest pin. So there you have a really quick start guide on how to get started with Pinterest by creating these repurposed video pins if you don't have an account already, or if you're already using Pinterest but weren't sure how to make the most of all your TikTok and Instagram content, hopefully this has given you a good idea. But if you do want to learn more about the types of boards to create, how to optimize your Pinterest profile, what types of content you want to share on Pinterest, and also optimizing each and every pin you create for Pinterest SEO and creating a whole Pinterest strategy, then check out my online course, The Pinterest Traffic Playbook. This course will help you to start generating more traffic in three simple steps for your website or your other content platforms. I'll leave a link with more information in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next week with another video.